Some of the best gated communities are located right here in Scottsdale. I get lots of questions from people asking, should I live in a gated community or a non-gated community? Today we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of both. Let's get started. Having a gate allows just an extra layer of security for part-time residents or even for some people that are here year-round. Gated communities in Scottsdale are really very common. We don't have a big crime problem here in Scottsdale, but what we do have are a lot of part-time residents. Having a gate might give you a bit of security when you're maybe only here five, six months out of the year. Some of the pluses of a gated community will include, just as I said before, a little bit of security while you're away or while you're asleep at night. The other thing that a gate will do is detour traffic um, from your area. If you're familiar with the app Waze that routes people off of a busy highway through a neighborhood, that won't happen when you have a gate. It keeps people out and keeps residents in. You know who's coming in and out. They either have a gate code or if it's guard gated, they have to have permission to come through. Gated communities tend to hold their value a little bit better than non-gated because of the elite feel along with the security. Having a gate means that you obviously have an HOA, which adds a level of overall protection to the neighborhood as far as how does it look, how does it feel. It's well managed. So that can be a big plus when you're trying to determine gated or non-gated. The new trend for new construction is definitely gated and often guard gated. Um, as part of that elite feeling, the community might come with a large park, a community center, a big pool with water slides and activities for families. So it just adds to the overall feeling of the neighborhood. Some areas will actually even be double gated. You'll have a gate for the main part of the community and then a little gate for each little section of the overall large community. These rec centers and community centers are great when you're a new resident, um, especially when it's new construction, everybody moves in at the same time, and you're at the community center, and it's a great way to meet new people without having to put forth a lot of effort. Go to the pool, go hang out in the lounge area. If they have a cafe, go hang out there and meet new people. Really, it's kind of a no-brainer if you're social. Another pro for gated communities is it's safety for pedestrians. Gated communities tend to have a slower traffic flow. First of all, you have to slow down when you come in the gate. They often will have some um, speed bumps or traffic bumps, um, you would call them depending on where you're from. Um, and it encourages walking traffic, kids maybe riding their bikes. Because it is slowed down, it's a little bit safer for you as a resident. Now, let's talk about some negatives. There are a few, the first one being cost. Um, depending on the HOA and how many gates you have, you will pay a higher fee in your HOA dues for a gated community. Obviously, you have to pay to maintain the gate. If it's guard gated, you have to pay that guy to sit there 24 seven and let people in and out. Um, it's a cost that some people might feel is prohibitive. Let's say if it's double gated, you have um, an exterior big gate and then a smaller gate within your community. That might mean you're paying two HOAs. So you'll have to do your own cost benefit analysis and see how you feel about that. But a lot of people do enjoy having that layer of security and are willing to pay the cost. Now, all gated areas will have access somehow for you or your friends. If you're an owner, generally, even if it's guard gated, you have a little beeper or a sticker on your car that will open the little arm that goes up um, as soon as you pull your car up. So you don't have to stop and ask permission every time to go to your house. You can go in and out. Maybe you do want to buy an extra key fob um, for a family member. I've done that for my parents. They don't wanna to have to reach out of the car and put in a code every time they come into my neighborhood. 
That way they just have the little key fob, they hit the button, and they can come in and out at will. Generally, those cost about $40 or $50, and you just register um, the person with your HOA, so that makes it easy. Having a guard-gated community adds um, one more little bit of a hassle um, for some people. Um, some guard-gated areas will have an app on your phone or you go to the website to register your guest or let them know that you'll have, you know, Susie Brown coming at five o'clock to the property. Then that way they know she's on the list and they'll just buzz her right through. If not, then the person comes to the gate, they'll call you. If you're not around, their entry is declined. So some people like that security, but a lot of people look at it maybe as a little bit of a hassle. Just depends on your style. I'm finding that most of my clients these days do want a gate, especially if they're part-time residents. Again, we don't have a big crime problem here. It's just a feeling. Where I'm from in Colorado, we didn't really have gated communities. Even in the country club area that I lived in, no gates, and that wasn't really a thing. We didn't think anything about it. But here in Scottsdale, I like having my gate, and I'm about to move to a guard-gated community. Um, so I just want that extra layer of security, um, you know, just to control who is coming in and out of my neighborhood. It's bad enough that we all have the Amazon guy roving around, but who knows who else has access to the codes and, um, you know, people just driving around. I like the security and so do most of my clients. So what are your thoughts? Gated or ungated? I don't know. Depends on what you like. Why don't you give me a comment below and just tell me what you think. I'm interested in what your opinions are. While you're at it, go ahead and click the subscribe button on the screen so that you'll get notified every time I have a new video. Try to do them about once a week, but sometimes I just get a little too busy but um, hopefully we'll get back on track for that schedule. Also, feel free to take a watch of the videos up here and you can learn more about what's available in the Scottsdale Phoenix area.